We can get consistent results by dropping the first analog read. So let's build that into a function that we can use in place of the analog read function. It will make our loop code a little tidier too. And we should see just the same results on the plotter, which we do, so that's encouraging. Now let's try a function that will average over four analog read values. That should reduce the noise a little bit. We'll just print out the two values, the dropped value and the averaged value. And on the serial plotter, we'll see that the red values are about half as noisy as the blue values. So we've improved things by averaging over four. Averaging over 16 values should be even better. And this time we'll use a for loop because I don't want to put 16 analog read statements uh, into my code. It would just be ugly. So now with three values to compare, things are even better if we've averaged over 16. How much better will it get if we average over a much larger number? We'll need to use floating point arithmetic for this because we're trying to get a precision that's greater than the uh, values we can get with the unsigned. The yellow trace is a little higher because we're not getting the analog read values as quickly as we were without doing the floating point arithmetic. But we can see that the noise is lower, but maybe not all that much lower. If we're noticing an effect of floating point arithmetic being a little slower, maybe it's time to ask ourselves the question of how quickly each of these approaches work. Because there's going to be a trade-off between how fast we can take data and how accurate that data is going to be. Let's start by seeing how long it takes to do 10,000 analog read calls. That's about a seventh of a second, so that would be something like 70,000 conversions per second. That's really fast. But let's do the calculation to make sure. 71,000, so my mental arithmetic's still working. Let's do the same test on those other functions. Copy and repeat the code, just change which function it's using. So we can see it's about half as fast if we just drop one. It's about a fifth as fast if we drop on an average over four, and it's even slower if we average over 16. But that's still getting us more than 4,000 measurements per second. That should usually be fast enough. If we average over 100, things don't get much better, but it does take quite a bit longer. And as a result, maybe we want to stick with uh, averaging over 16 as our, our limit. An average over 16 values using unsigned integer arithmetic is fast, and it seems to provide a good compromise between speed and resolution and noise elimination. So that's what I'll use.